Hey family, and we're back for another video before I close it out for tonight. Yes, we're going to be talking about Apollo Nida on Candy Burris saying she sold him out on live TV when he was going through his things and the feds was looking for him and all of this. This come by way of that great juice, okay? And the person who wrote the article is simply named David, okay? He put it out on May 8th, which was this previous Friday. He goes on, like I said, entitles his article, Apollo Nida on Candy Burris. You sold me out, okay? Real Housewives of Atlanta fans are yet to learn how production on its next season will begin in a world governed by the outbreak of COVID-19, okay? However, they were given an incentive to tune in after a number of reports claimed it was it was to welcome the return of Phaedra Pause. I'm like, get it, got it good. Maybe we can get Peter back on, Greg and Todd. <laughs> like the old gang is back in town again but it's not gonna fare how we really want it to fare that's just my sidebar going back to the article it says today's fans of the culture shifting hit maker candy burrs hope that park's ex-husband doesn't tag along for the ride find out why apollo nida is unhappy with candy and her husband todd tucker below in an interview with straight from the a michelle brown's platform okay go on over to see her she's known for her commentary on everything real housewives of atlanta okay uh but anyway it says she has uh in an interview with straight from the a nada accused the tuckers of selling him out to generate a storyline on the series when they revealed that he was hiding a number of his belongings in their in their atlanta home he says he gave it to them with hopes doing so would prevent the items from being seized by the authorities following his arrest Unfortunately, he watched his plan implode when the couple, as far as he sees it, spilled the beans to the millions who tuned in to watch the show earlier that week. Okay, and I do have a video clip. We're just doing it a blast from the past when um, we're going back in time trying to see how Phaedra and Candy Burris kind of got off their friendship and it had a lot to do with the feds being called in and trying to seize materials that Cynthia Bayless husband Peter as well as Candy Burris and Todd Tucker allegedly were hiding uh items from the feds and it seems like Phaedra Parks got a whiff of it and she went and called allegedly the feds and to have them in pursuit of getting um, Candy Burris and Todd Tucker in trouble uh, with the law by hiding, you know, goods that Apollo Nida may have acquired with illegal funds. You know what I'm saying? So, they really felt, meaning Candy and Todd, that Phaedra called the feds on them, allegedly, to get back at uh, Candy for siding with Apollo because Todd liked the Apollo and they were cool at the time and um, she was just trying to side with him because she knew some secrets that Phaedra was not being truthfully or faithful uh, to Apollo at the time of their separation their impending divorce and of course um, Apollo going to jail for his misdeeds okay his white collar crime he had taken a part of so let's give us a little back in the past blast of a video where you can see Candy Burris Todd and Phaedra Parr arguing with one another, okay, about the situation. And then Peter has his little spin in as well, but he ain't trying to get into the mess. If they want to put him back on TV, he's like, okay, I'll come back, but I ain't finna get in no mess that the ladies have put together. So let's go on and preview and hear some of the audio that was played back in the day, okay? Well, what 
what was that like? You know, it was scary. It was like that and smooth. Then he said he was from the Secret Service. And I was like, okay, yeah, how are you here? <laughs> he said, you know, can I talk to you for a second? I was like, all right. And he was like, well, we received some information that you guys may have some stolen property in here. My first thought was like, what did Peter do now? <laughs> right, besides, I didn't even think about Peter when but he came that, the uh, When I went That's downstairs and talked to him, he, he, he basically said he saw it on the show. Yo, show. Watch me, I'm a lot. <laughs> Todd is holding on to Apollo's motorcycles. <laughs> it's his motorcycle and his four wheelers at our house. Right, it's in your garage. Is that a point of contention? I didn't know it was an issue. His car had been at um, Peter and Cynthia's house for like five months. Now you see how Ken is driving in Peter and Cynthia. You understand. They didn't tell me anything. That's crazy.
let people in front of the world know that it's summer pay the week before the show come on. A week First before of all, we go I have been, me and Todd have been emailing for two weeks about, okay, yeah, but you did, you just now started recently. doing it recently. If I didn't bring this had up this show, been taken care of when it was supposed God, to, yeah. this would have never I, okay. gone this far. All right. If you had turned in your stuff, or if you had if you did what you were supposed to do, give them okay, the well, last he, edits when you were supposed paid. to, it would have been money. done. You got all your money, Todd, right? You got all your money. Okay, well then you should be happy. Let's be clear. Y'all all know that Todd and I handle million dollar budgets for shows. That last thing is going to be a problem about doing a little bitty DVD on a workout. Come on now, don't you try to play like he don't know what the hell he's doing. I ain't trying to play like he don't know what the hell. I'm trying to say he all of a sudden was jumping on me. I'm like, why don't you ever ask my husband you. about it? Come on, from that DVD, you'd have been right. at my, my okay. wedding. You'd have been there through vacations. I can't be quiet. Okay, all right, like, so you got your you money. This should be a closed issue. You got your money. Good. Good. We good. All right. And <laughs> that was a trip right there. So that's why we need Phaedra to come back so she can talk about, you know, the issues she had with Todd, the issues she still had with Todd, Candy, and Apollo. It would be very interesting. I'm telling you, this girl has some storylines she can put to work and make Bravo some more money, honey. So we're going to thank uh, That Great Juice. We're going to thank David for bringing out this salacious story. And we're going to see what the family feel about that, what was presented to them on subject matter. Because I'm like, oh, my goodness, Candy, Candy, Candy. Wasn't she, meaning Phaedra, the one that set you up with Todd, your husband? <laughs> Girl, the things she could tell us. Okay, the things that she could tell us us okay and probably have some things that you probably told her about todd that she can bring up okay so i'm waiting for miss phaser to come back because i don't think you're going nowhere can i'm just saying i might be wrong but i don't think you're going nowhere because if it don't work out with your spinoff and it don't get the ratings that it need to get you know bravo will pull the plug on that stuff and then you'll be looking at possibly getting a letter saying uh we don't really need you no more unless you're gonna speed up you're gonna challenge phaedra in some scenes or whatnot uh especially when it comes to some uh loose ends that you didn't tie up prior to bravo dismissing phaedra parts because of the stuff that she did towards you no those things haven't gotten resolved and we ready to see it we ready to hear it and we want both sides honey so I'm like, Candy, stay in the fight, honey. Let us know what you're working with. Don't be run off, honey. If you really want to stay, we can forget. We can forgive and we can move on. But let us know what you're going to do, girl. Do you really need Real Housewives of Atlanta to continue the lifestyle that you live? Or have you gotten enough and you can survive? You can maintain without the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Well, it's yet to be seen because they are in talks from what I hear to getting Phaedra Park back. I don't know if she's going to come a friend of a friend of the show or she's going to come back as a full-fledged peach holder, okay? But we know who she need to get into, and that's Kenya Moore. She need to come for you, too, all right, and see what kind of drama and salacious storylines y'all can come up with while the rest of them, well, you know, we need to get rid of Eva, to tell you the truth, if they get rid of Cynthia, they need to get rid of Eva. And that'll be a spot left in case you want to come back if you want to actually leave Candy. All right. But that's all I had, fam. Y'all get down in them comments. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about subject matter. And is Candy really going to leave? Is she really going to leave? Because we really want Phaedra to come back. With that storyline that Apollo can say, Todd and Candy... They just turned on them. <laughs> they just turned on them. We can. It's spilling all the beans. Okay. Yes, Lord. We need to pay uh, Todd to come in and save his wife from all the allegations that uh, Faye, I mean, uh, Apollo is throwing at the social media that can. It was the one that set these wheels in motion for the feds to come by. <laughs> And pick up all his little toys that he can't enjoy that he's been out or released from prison, okay? But that's all I had. Y'all remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share the videos, okay? And I'll see y'all next video. Peace.